Hey guys, in this video we install a Sierra stone coating with epoxy on over 500 linear feet of stairs. Check out the video, hope you like it. The epoxy and natural stone coating system that we installed at the front entrance of a community college on the island of Tortola was a very challenging project mainly due to the weather and secondly we started the project in March of 2020 during the early days of COVID-19 becoming present in the British Virgin Islands. Several lockdown orders by the government delayed this project's completion. Another challenge we encountered was finding an efficient way to do all the stairs. It was the first time we installed this material on stairs and we had over 500 linear feet to complete. If you're a contractor and you're going to do stairs with this material, make sure you charge an excess of 20 US dollars per linear foot or you will surely regret it. It is a very time consuming and tedious work. When we were doing the stairs, we used a vertical epoxy with the stone for the risers, which is the consistency of Vaseline. It is a very thick material. When you're mixing the vertical epoxy, it is important that you do not overmix this material. After you mix the material, you want to be able to pack it into a clump in your hand. If it is too wet, then it will not stay on the vertical surface you're applying it to. Vertical epoxy and troweled and brushed it onto the surface for a primer coat. You will see in the video that we use 2x4s for a leading edge after striking a straight line with a chalk line. If you're working on a much smaller area than we did, it would be wise to use half inch polycarbonate, better known as plexiglass sheeting, versus wood because when you remove the wood the next day, some of the wood breaks off and sticks to the epoxy, and using the plexiglass sheeting, although more expensive, will be less work and will save you more time. However, because it was over 500 linear feet, we opted to use 2x4s. It took three men working for approximately three and a half hours to complete one 38 foot long step. Also due to the heat and persistent rain, we had to build shade coverings to work under the large tarps and 2x4s. We had to hand draw custom HLSCC letters on the floor using a pencil, measuring tape, and our collaborative artistic abilities, which was not easy. We used the darker stone for the letters and completed the letters first prior to installing the lighter colored surrounding stone. We found using duct tape for the edging of the letters was more efficient than cutting wood to suit the shapes of the letters. After completing the Sierra stone installation, we rolled on an additional coat of epoxy over top of the finished surface with a coverage rate of 122 square feet per gallon. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you liked it and I hope you learned something. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Give us a huge thumbs up and turn on those notifications. Cheers guys.